Next time we have protocols. So protocols is a new product uh, that Stackman added recently, and it's really meant to help tackle uh, a key problem, which is data governance. Now, interesting enough, you know, when, when companies hire us, one of the big benefits they get is that we help them standardize all their data, clean it up, and put it together into a tracking plan. And maybe you've seen some of those documents from us or from other people. Uh, typically, they're spreadsheets, and they just simply say, hey, this is all the data we have. Here are the event names. Here are the event properties. And then in a the document, they get cleaned up into something that's consistent, right? So all the events are lowercase, all the event properties are title case. Um, if there's properties that get reused through our events, they use the same structure and so on. So, so you have a lot of consistency. So when people go through the data, or when people start understanding the data, they can start to see the patterns among it, right? And that makes, that makes it easier to learn the data and use it. Uh, so the taxonomy plays a big deal. It's a little bit hidden. Uh, most, of pe most people might not really understand what's going on. Um, and when it's good, when the taxonomy is well designed, they might not really notice it, but when it's bad, people notice, right? When it's bad is when people say, I just don't understand it. I see an event called login here, but it doesn't seem to do login. And there's another event here called login two. What's the difference? All that stuff, right? So the initial creation of the tracking plan is, is very helpful and it's something that, that needs to be done. But then there's a, there's a, a second problem, uh, which is how do you maintain it? Once you have a plan, how do you ensure you stick to it, one? And once you add more things, since your product is growing, your company is growing, how do you ensure that it still fits what you already have? That's, that's really what Protocols was, was meant to solve, right? It's an interesting product release uh, from my perspective. I was actually, I remember talking to the segment folks back in maybe a couple of years ago at their offices, having lunch with them. And we were talking about tracking plans and so on. And they were talking about this idea of bringing the tracking plan and making it live uh, or managing within the product. So this is what that really, that, that idea ended up becoming, right? So once 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 you have um, once you have this product, and then remember, protocols is just uh, more on the enterprise level or more on the, on the on the higher plans. You can then use it to maintain the data. So that is, um, you'll you know you're able to see events. For example, here is an you know an event called order completed. We have a few properties, and then we're we're passing on if if the you know if the property should be required. Is it optional? What data type is it? And this just simply helps maintain that if an event comes that's missing something, it will be flagged. And it, it, might not, it might not flow down to the actual destinations you have in segment, right? So what you're doing here is at the segment level, right? Remember all the data is coming from mobile apps and webs and so on. They go through segment and then they get translated before they go to some kind of destination. At the segment level, we're saying these are the rules that we're expecting or this is the data we're expecting. And if something is not right within this defined rules, we should not send the data over, you know, because that data might be corrupted. And we don't want to send corrupted data to something like Google Analytics or Mixpanel, because at that point, it's really hard to take it back. It's, it, it might be really hard to delete it. In some cases, it's not, it's not even possible. So we want to have some high-level rules to, to protect the integrity of the data, right? Um, this also takes the, you know, the debugging uh, reports that you have seen in the segment that I cover, it takes them to a whole different level. Because now you're not, you're not just debugging data, you might be seeing uh, data that flow through and failed any kind of validation, any kind of rules that you had, right? That's what you can see here. And that's really it, right? So this idea of blocking bad data, data governance, um, it becomes um, it becomes pretty critical, really very early on. Uh, though of course, I think it's it's even more critical once the company's it's bigger and you have a lot more data flowing through, right? Um, we see ideas here. You know, you can upload your tracking plan and you'll have a, a live and tracking plan. That I think it's, that's great. Uh, even for us in our projects, we have seen that while well, the spreadsheet is really great to start, and it's something that that's really beneficial. Maintaining the spreadsheet is not as, as actually as effective, right? We've seen companies struggle a lot to maintain the spreadsheet, and that seems to be just because it's not convenient, right? It's not something they use on a regular basis, so that they, they don't see as much. The segment is something that they can actually use on, on a regular basis. So really pushing everything through and standardizing in one central location, like segment, and using something like protocols can be, can be quite helpful uh, to ensure that, that data accuracy. If you're a small company, this product is likely not going to be a good fit for you. Uh, you can likely just maintain the data either just manually, maybe using a spreadsheet or something. Uh, but once you're much bigger, once you have much more data flowing through, and, and, and really this becomes much more relevant when even small amounts of data can be quite detrimental, right? Where in, um, imagine that you have an error on your data and the error is live for three days, but that means thousands and thousands of events that go through with, with errors that's when some of the, a product like this becomes really relevant. If you're at a smaller stage, uh, you, you, you know, the data, having three days of bad data might not be that bad.
based on how much volume you have. And that's it. That's protocols. Uh, I'll see you in the next video uh, when we look at uh, personas and a few other things.